Hello kindred spirits and hello to everyone who's new. I'm Serenity. Welcome to the apartment homestead and today is a rainy dreary day and I'm stuck inside so I decided I would try this experiment I've wanted to do for a while. I had purchased a lip plumper and I think I paid 35 bucks something like that and uh, it was a total waste of money. It did nothing. Uh, so that was very disappointing. I decided to, why not try making my own? I have heard there's a lot of things in your kitchen that you can use to help plump your lips. So I said, well, let me try this experiment. So I've got three options and we're going to try this over three days and see if I get any results. So here we are at day one, and these are my lips. There's nothing on them. So let's compare. Let's see if anything changes. I'll go put the cinnamon on, and we'll wait about 10 minutes. I'll be back. Okay. Okay, 10 minutes is up. Wiped it off, and what do you think? I don't think I got any result. Cinnamon, you're out. But, uh, we do have cayenne pepper and ginger. So tomorrow we'll be back with cayenne pepper and we'll see if that has any results. I do want to say though, this is my skin, this is my body. So what works and doesn't work for me may be the opposite for you. So if you're going to try this experiment at home, you know the routine. Make sure you know your skin, your allergies, and you might always want to check with your dermatologist or a doctor before you embark on anything like this. So, see you tomorrow for the next result. Good morning and welcome to day two. So, cinnamon is out. Today is cayenne pepper. So, let's take a look at my lips. Okay, let's get to work and let's see what the results are. Okay, 10 minutes is up, wiped it off, and let's see if you notice any difference. It definitely feels, I can feel some sort of plumpness there. Um, I don't think it lasts long though, um, but I think I could have left it on even a little bit longer, but it's the first time I'm doing it, so I'm being a little cautious. 
but uh, definitely more of a reaction than the cinnamon. So tomorrow is ginger. We'll give ginger a try. Let's see what those results are. I'll see you then. Um, okay, day three, last day, we're trying ginger. And I'm just going to shred it. It's falling all over the place. Okay, ginger is wiped off. And what do you think? You can definitely see a little more fullness there, for sure. Um, while I had the ginger on, it really kicked in. It was burning, <laughs> but it was doing the work. And I think I found it a little bit more effective than even the, um, the cayenne pepper. So I think ginger is the winner. Now, I would use these um, before maybe having your picture taken. I don't think they have any holding power. They don't last very long. But what's really interesting is I got more results out of the cayenne and the ginger than I did with using that $35 product. So, although everyone's skin is different, so maybe somebody else might get results with that product, I didn't. So, so this was really interesting. So I, I can feel the ginger still burning. <laughs> But you have to be really careful with the ginger and the cayenne that while it's on your lips, you don't really swallow it unless you can handle that kind of burning sensation. You don't really want that, so be careful. Um, but it's nice. And um, let's go put some lipstick on and see what that looks like. Okay, now that I put lipstick on, I think I can see the fullness a little bit better. It's still burning a little bit, so um, I don't know how long the fullness is going to last. But of course, it's not dramatic. It's not like getting injected at the dermatologist. But just having a little bit of an increase is nice. And it was so easy because we just used ingredients that were home. And it didn't cost us anything. And so thank you for joining me today. Thanks for being a part of this experiment. And I will see you next time. Subscribe, like, share, and comment below. God bless you, and we'll see you soon.